Our classes are geared towards providing the building blocks needed to develop acting skills while the compressed length of the course and the focused level of study needs commitment and intensive collaboration among the participants. Well, this is according to recipient of the prestigious Oppenheimer and Guildford scholarships, Rajesh Gopi, describing his professional acting course for film and TV. Well, respected actor, playwright, director, producer and qualified actor teacher uh, Rajesh Gopi joins us now from our Durban studio to tell us more about the course that takes place from the 2nd of January to the 2nd of March at the Tegwini College. Rajesh, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning and Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Let's talk about the professional acting course for film and TV. What is the inspiration behind the course? Well, there are the TV industry is growing every day here in different regions of the country and a lot of people desire training, they desire skills but uh, for some reason I'm not been to drama school or universities so I designed this course when I returned from the UK to accommodate people who are starters even people who are working professionally to tune their skills and get greater skills because there's a whole industry out there in the world which we can learn from and I've post my studies have come back to South Africa to help actors develop, get stronger and, and feed our industry and we need good actors all the time. Yeah. What other subjects will be covered in this course? Well, within the acting course, it's not just acting. There's a theory-based element to the courses. Sometimes there's, a, there's an element where actors need to know why they're learning something, not just being told, do this because so-and-so says so. It's to understand why uh, I'm doing a particular exercise. For example, in listening, often people think that acting is about uh, just, you know, showing an expression or how you speak. But listening is such an important element of how one acts. And therefore, in this course, we do text analysis, we do voice, movement, there are theory elements. Um, camera skills so it's a, it's a very varied course it's not just studio based where I sit there and then people act and then I tell them what to do no it's very intensive it's very very involved it's very collaborative and it's it's a lot of fun is that what you mean by psychophysical approach what is that yes. Psychophysical is a combination of both the mind and the body, physiologically and psychologically. So it's not just about uh, thinking about acting, it's the entire physical instrument, the entire body that's involved. Usually when people try to act, they try to do it mentally, try to focus on making the mind uh, control the body. Whereas the way I work, the psychophysical way, is to get the body, because as African people, we have a, a great physicality. And what we have to be careful of is not to stymie that physicality, but rather allow it to uh, be free so that the body can think for itself, so the body can produce action and, and feeling and spontaneity. And that's what we love in cinema and, and television, is the spontaneity of the body, not uh, this very kind of egotistical, how do I look? way of acting or how do I sound way of acting but the physicality that Africa has to bring that to TV and screen and not to feel that um, we have to copy some other culture but to allow the cultural um, physicality to come through and and that's very important in psychophysical acting. Well, what are some of the biggest errors or mistakes that you see from you know budding actors that don't may not necessarily have those skills needed to be a good actor i think the fundamental mistake or the fundamental um, error is that it's how people think about acting because we're in an age of digital media the personality um, subsumes the craft where the way if you just look good or you sound good or you know you think that's what it's about but the craft of acting is is far more beyond the personality and a lot of younger people today are driven by personality and they find that the um, the pyramid for them is about being on TV or being in a soap opera and then I'm an actor but the actor's journey is much longer it's far more humble the training process is far more humble and to be a good actor you have to learn to be a good person to understand the full depth of the human condition and not just 
sort of put the cart before the horse when the cart being my personality because after a while your personality will run dry and people will get tired of it and they want to see the real actor who can cope with different parts and that's where real training comes in and that's where a good actor is a good actor and where a personality is a personality and will fade out and this is the fundamental error I find where people don't invest in their training that they don't think it's serious enough they don't feel that the need to train is as important mm -hmm. Let's talk about the requirements for people, budding actors, to be part of this course. What are the requirements? Well, there are two areas that I train in. One is foundation, and foundation is an area where someone is entering the industry, where, um, for example, in Durban we have a foundation course starting, where you, you, you come into the course where your orientation is about understanding what is required of an actor. And that's really, really important. And the other part of uh, other course that I teach is the advanced course, where often actors who are in the industry and want to really shape up and really want to get a, a, a refresh, refreshing sort of course, is is the is the advanced course and that's very camera intensive and we shoot a lot of scenes etc but in the foundation course it's the basic principles that you need to come into the industry very fundamentally is understanding how to read a text i mean we we forget that any scene starts off with it being written down how do you translate something that's written down on a script and make it alive, bring truth to the performance. So fundamentally in the course, it's the idea of recreating truth, truthful, spontaneous performances, uh, where the per each person is an individual and that individual individuality is brought through and brought out. So you're not trying to copy somebody else. There's a very famous saying by Oscar Wilde, be yourself, everybody else is taken. Yeah. So <laughs> in my course, I empower you to be yourself, no matter what you, how you sound, what your cultural background and where you grew up, all that is really, really useful in creating original actors who are not all trying to emulate American TV stars, but are South African. And, and because we are going to service the South African industry and this is the kind of quality we need to bring. Like I said, other people are taken, you need to be yourself. And it's not easy being yourself. That's just the funny thing. It's like, you know, you think, but why can't you just be yourself? Yeah. But when you put a camera on somebody, that's the hardest thing that happens, to be themselves. And that has to, you have to train that actor to be able to love themselves, to love who they are and not be afraid of it. Fear is what ruins actors. Fear ruins people from being themselves, not just in acting, but in all aspects of life. All and right. so much of my course is about empowering that. All right, Rajesh, thank you so much for talking to us. Um, good luck with the cause and uh, have a, an enjoyable Christmas. Respected actor, playwright, director, producer and qualified acting teacher Rajesh Gopi speaking to us about his professional acting course for film and TV as part of his mm. ActorWise program early next year from the 2nd of February to the 2nd of March 2017. So you can't say we didn't give you stuff to do mm. over the festive season and even we even jumped to next year. Well into the new year.